Hello pupils, welcome to our very last basic science technology class. My name is Mr. Chuku and it is absolutely wonderful to have you here today. Let's talk about soap today. Are you wondering why? Well, I have a good reason for that. Soaps contain base and remember we learned about acids and bases a few lessons ago. Now that we have a good use of bases in soaps and detergents, it will be good for us to learn about the many different ways we can use soap. Yes, soap is not only for washing clothes and dishes, there's more. Let's find new things out. To a lot of people, soap is only useful when we need to remove dirt and stains from our hands, bodies, dishes and clothes. However, that's not all that soap can be used for. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the many other interesting uses of soap. Number 1. Insect Repellent I bet you didn't know that soaps can be used to keep insects away. Parts of leaves beaten here and there aren't a pretty sight. If our plants must grow healthily, then we need to keep insects as far as possible from them. A spray of soapy water to the underside of leaves will do the trick. This soap and water mix doesn't only work in the garden, but can also be sprayed around the home to get rid of spiders and other bugs. Say goodbye to all those cobwebs. <laughs> 2. Relief irritation from bug bites. Bug bites can be really itchy and painful. Ouch! That hurts! If you get bitten by a bug, like I did, and the pain or itching is unbearable, you can relieve the irritation using soap. That has got to do the trick. Rubbing a dry bar of soap on the skin where I was bitten relieved the pain almost immediately. You should try this when next you have an itchy or painful bug bite. Best to stay away from bugs too. <laughs> 3. Lubricants Lubricants allow things and surfaces to become smooth and slippery, like oil. Soap is a good lubricant. Not all lubricants are greasy, and soap is one of such lubricants. It can be used to reduce friction between two surfaces. For instance, soap can release a stock zipper and make it free to move. All you need to do is apply a small portion up and down both sides of a stock or rusty zipper. A drawer or door that does not open and close smoothly will also slide easily if moist soap is applied to the hinges, under and top sides. Wet soap is also useful when making the needle go through fabric easily, fix squeaky belts and to remove stock rings. If a ring gets stuck on your finger, Add some soap under running water. This will make the ring slide off all right. 4. Removing odors and bad smell. Soaps are not only useful for removing odors from the armpits, but they can be used to remove bad and uncomfortable smell from closets, suitcases, beans, and shoes. You could place a pack of nicely smelling soap wrapped in light fabric in your closet, shoes, suitcases, and bin. This will keep them smelling fresh and clean. 5. Stop soot from collecting. Soot is a black substance that collects on pots and pans when cooking is done on outdoor fire. Before placing pots and pans over a stove or outdoor fire, you should cover the bottom surface with wet soap. This will help the soot wash off with the soap easily and completely. 6. Keep eyeglasses from steaming in cold weather. You can stop glasses and lenses from getting foggy by rubbing both sides of each lens with soapy fingers and then clean them. Even when the weather is really cold, you run under the rain or you come close to steam, your lens won't be foggy. You should try this. 7. Coating Your fingernails can get dirty and soiled while working with plants or in the garden. To remove dirt from fingernails, all you need to do is run your nails through a bar of soap. This will stop dirt from collecting under your nails. You can wash off the soap easily after working. Have you tried any of these uses of soap before? Do you know other uses that I have not talked about? You should try to write about them. Awesome! We've come to the end of this lesson. Now, let us go over all the seven uses of soap we have learned in the lesson. A. Soaps can be used to repel insects and bugs from plants and from our homes. B. Soaps can relieve itching and pain caused by bug bites. C. Soaps can be used as lubricants. D. Soaps can be used to remove odors and bad smell. E. Soaps can stop soot from collecting on pots and pans. 
F. Soaps can be used to keep eyeglasses from steaming in cold weather. G. Soaps are also used for protecting objects and fingernails. It has been wonderful sharing all of the new ways that you can use a bar of soap. I wonder how much of them you can remember. Well, let's test this, shall we? 1. The major uses of soap that we know are for bathing, washing our hands, clothes and dishes. But soaps are also used for making things and places smell nice. What use is this? Yay! That's wonderful! Soaps can be used as odor remover. Odors from smelly things and places can be removed by placing soap wrapped in light fabric in the places of things that smell badly. 2. Your mom just bought a new ring. She's had it on her all day. She finds it difficult to remove her ring because it is stuck. What do you think she needs to do to remove the ring? Wonderful response. Lay that a bit of soap in your hands like you are about to wash and then slide off the ring. Wow! This is where our lesson ends. I hope you try out all of the new ways to use soap and share them with some friends. See you in the next lesson. Bye!